All right, here we have the login screen. So in the upper left, you'll notice you have uh, the three line menu icon. Uh, you can use that to uh, open up and see a few other things like uh, your previous trips. Um, and other than that, you just basically have your go online button and select a different vehicle button uh, if you have more than one car. And then uh, the invite button, which gives you your invite code and the ability to text and email other people for your invites. Um, so that's about it. So where right I hear you'll hit the go online button. And this is what you'll see. This is the map. You can move around here. You see your hot zones. Um, you can see uncolored areas, which uh, are slow. The yellow areas are starting to heat up. The orange areas are very much heating up just before surge. And then the red areas are surge, um, showing the uh, amount of surge in the area. Uber does things by zones. As you can see here in LA, there's kind of like a Pasadena Glendale zone. There's a downtown zone. Uh, Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, each one of the kind of zones. Um, so if they heat up, that's what you get. So next screen will be uh, when we get a payment for a ride. This is what it'll look like. Uh, all you have to do is touch anywhere on the screen and that will accept the ride. As you see on the bottom, it's giving you an estimated time it takes you to get to the passenger. Um, the address the passenger is at the passenger's rating. Um, this would also show any surge if there was any. In this case there isn't any. Um, and shows the platform Uber X. So once you hit the button to accept the ride, you go into this next screen which shows you where you are, where the passenger is uh, on the map and um, you can then start navigating. So basically on this screen in the upper left where it says navigate, if you hit that, that'll fire up either Google Maps or Waze or whatever navigation software you have. Um, on the right, upper right, you see a little eye with a blue circle around it. Um, that is the passenger info screen, which we'll see next. Um, and you also see your addresses here and then also um, the arrived button. So now, we're into if we would have pushed that blue button in the upper right on the last screen. This is the passenger info screen. Um, if you've forgotten, you want to double check what their uh, score was, uh, the rating, or any of the other information. Um, you can get it here. Um, and then you can also hit the cancel trip button, which we'll see in a second here. And we lost a screenshot, but this one will be the, I'll add it in after, this is the uh, cancel trip button. So on this demo, I'm just going to hit don't charge passenger. If you're just bailing on a trip, hit don't charge passenger. If the passenger was late, you can hit one of the other appropriate buttons. Um, usually it will be the um, uh, no show button. So hope this helps and uh, Uber on.